Today I will show how to take snapshot of an Amazon RDS MySQL database. Snapshot take a copy of currently running MySQL server and its data. It can be used to recover database in case something goes wrong with your MySQL database. You can take manual snapshot or enable automated snapshots. We are logged into Amazon AWS console. Click on services. Then click on RDS. To see the RDS instance we have running on this AWS account, click on databases. We have one RDS database. To see all available snapshots, click on snapshots link on the left menu. We have two snapshots available. Let's go back to the databases. Click on the database. First of all, let's see how to take a manual snapshot. For that, click on Maintenance and Backups. Scroll down, you will see the Take Snapshot button. Another option is under the Actions. You have Take Snapshot link. Click on the Take Snapshot. You need to give a name. Then click on Take Snapshot button. The name should start with a letter, so let us change it to something different. Click on the button, take snapshot. We have a new snapshot here. Status is creating. Now you need to wait for the snapshot creation to finish. The snapshot creation takes several minutes, depending on the size of your RDS database. Let's click on the refresh button to see the status. Now the RDS database backup is completed. The status is available. Let's go back to the RDS, then click on DB instances. If you want to enable automated snapshots, click on the database, then click on modify, scroll down. Here you can see the backup option. A backup retention period is 7 days. And that means after 7 days, the older backup get deleted. So at any time, you have backup for the last 7 days. Backup window, you can select the time at which the backup will be taken. In this case, we have UTC 5.38 AM. The backup will be taken on 5.38 AM UTC. If you don't have this backup enabled, you can enab enable these options. Select the uh, retention time and then select the backup window. After that, click on continue. Then click on modify DB instance. In this case, we already have backup enabled, so we don't have to do anything. So I click on cancel. Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.